Good morning, this is Jay uh, from DBA in a Box, and I'm here today to talk to you about our next business basic, and this is personal risk, is the subject for today. We're also, as part of that, going to talk about an intertwined subject, which is the various corporation structures and how much they can shield you from personal risk. Uh, so, and, and you may hear some noise in the background, uh, I apologize for that, but not much I can do about the neighbor's dogs. Um, hopefully mine doesn't start barking. We'll see. If you like this, hit the like button. Subscribe. Uh, we'll be doing these every week. The, currently we do a palette and a business basics video every week. So come on, join us and see what, see what it looks like. Um, today talking about personal risk. Um, what is personal risk? Personal risk means that you put yourself in a position where uh, you are exposed financially uh, and or criminally uh, based on your products that you're selling. So, you know, obviously we're flipping pallets, uh, we're, we're getting uh, things wholesale to go retail. Uh, a lot of times we're getting things out of thrift shops or uh, you may even be dumpster diving. Well, what happens when you send off to somebody that bottle of vitamins that you got on, on the wholesale pallet, um, hopefully you're not dumpster diving for health and beauty. Uh, what happens when you send that pack of vitamins off and they get sick? Uh, it turns out that the reason that they were on the pallet is because they were tainted, they were recalled. You didn't catch the recall, you sent it off to a customer, customer got sick. What's going to happen? Uh, one thing's going to happen very quickly. Uh, and that is you'll be notified that you need to get that product off off the uh, shelves and you need to take it down immediately if that happens. Uh, a little bit longer, and this can happen up to three years later, uh, they can sue you uh, for selling them a tainted product. Even if it was in a closed bottle, um, in today's society, they're going to sue the manufacturer, they're going to sue eBay or Amazon or wherever you sold that through and they're going to sue you. <clears throat> so you you have to insulate yourself from that risk. Um, and, and the way you do it is really simple. You, you form a corporation. So uh, you form uh, an S Corp, a C Corp, or a um, LLC and that will help shield you from some of those uh, it's not going to completely shield you there are ways around some of that like suing you personally um, but for the most part they will help protect you from those lawsuits now if your company loses that lawsuit you're probably gonna have to you know, declare bankruptcy and we'll talk about insurance and how to avoid that bankruptcy problem um, in a future video uh, Right now, what I want to talk about are the types of corporations and how they insulate you from these types of risks, um, for both financial and criminal. Uh, so number one, uh, that is the individual proprietorship, the sole proprietorship. And that's what most of you are, whether you realize it or not. Uh, if you have not formed a company, you are a sole proprietorship. And what that means is that if in that situation where somebody's going to sue you for a product problem, you personally and everything you own are at risk. If you have a house, the house is at risk. If there's any equity in it at all, um, they can take your house, they can take your car, they can take all your money, every single penny of your money, and they can garnish your wages going forward so that if you were to go to work for somebody, uh, half of what you, up to half of what you earn goes to them instead of to you. Um, which can absolutely destroy you for the long term. Can absolutely destroy you. Uh, you do not want to be in that situation. With what we're doing and the fact that we're handling merchandise that's used, merchandise that's coming from a source other than the manufacturer, um, bottom line is you do not want to be in a position where they can take everything you own. Um, so that's a sole proprietorship. It means that you own the business yourself as a person. Okay. Uh, the next type is the doing business as. Um, and, and effectively, doing business as uh, is exactly the same as a sole proprietorship. 
if you say, you know, John Doe doing business as uh, We Flip It Pallets, um, and I'm making up a name there. Uh, if there is a We Flip It Pallets, I'm sorry. Uh, if, if that's your doing business as name, it's still you doing business as. Okay, now, uh, the other three types I want to talk about are LLC, and, and this applies to the U.S. So if you're international and you're watching this, you're going to have different corporate structures uh, wherever you are, but, but here in the U.S. there are three corporate structures of note. One is LLC, it's a limited liability corporation, LLC. Um, it's very, very popular. Uh, an LLC, uh, you can only have one class, uh, you don't have shares like you would see in normal companies. What you have is partners. It's a partnership. Um, and by the way, you can be, you can be in a partnership in a, as a sole proprietor as well, but it's not, it, it doesn't protect you. Um, it just makes more people for them to sue. Uh, an LLC is a corporate structure that's recognized uh, in the court system and by the IRS as a structure that is a legal entity. Um, and, and when we say legal entity, what we mean is I'm a legal entity, you're a legal entity. As a person, you are a legal entity. When you create a corporation, you're creating a separate legal entity. Um, and the Limited Liability Corporation uh, was originally designed for partnerships with multiple partners that each had part ownership in the company uh, and who were sharing all of the revenue, all of the, all of the um, payables. They were sharing all of the rights and responsibilities of the company. Uh, but they didn't want to file as the other two types of corporations. Uh, and we'll t It's kind of tricky in a tax sense, but the short version is it's a partnership with liability protection built in. S-Corp. An S-Corp, uh, so a corporation is an entity of its own, regardless of whether it's LLC, S-Corp, or C-Corp. An S-Corp is a personal corporation. Uh, and what that means is that um, there's only one class of shares in the corporation. So my 10 shares are equal to your 10 shares. Um, there is a distinct separation between you as a person and you as a company, uh, meaning that the company shields you from some of that liability. Now, again, they can always name you personally in the lawsuit. You have to defend it. You have to spend a bunch of money in court. Facts of life. Um, that's why you buy insurance, which we'll talk about later. Uh, so <clears throat> an S-Corp is it, it's a personal corporation, and whatever your number of shares that you own represents in terms of percentage, percentage ownership, you get a K-9 at the end of the year that tells you this is how much your portion of the taxes are. Uh, or your portion of the income is actually. Um, whether that money is still sitting in the corporation or not, it's, it's all about how much is in the corporation. Uh, and then uh, the final version is the C Corp. And that's, your, that's the one that everybody thinks of as a corporation. Um, so these are companies that have different uh, classes of shares. Uh, a C Corp pays its own taxes, um, and someday we'll talk about the tax benefits among them. Uh, I'm certainly not an attorney, not not a tax attorney, I'm not a, an accountant. Uh, this is just from personal experience and, and uh, many years of doing different kinds of businesses. So C Corp is its own entity. It pays taxes on, uh, it pays the corporate tax rate on the money that it has. Um, on its income every year, and it's really the difference in the balance statement from year to year. So whatever your balance statement is one year, your balance statement the next, that's how much tax you pay. Um, your percentage of ownership has nothing to do with your taxes. It's all about the about your buying and selling of the shares. So um, S Corp, C Corp, same thing, different structure in how you pay taxes. That's the big difference. Uh, LLC, a little different because it's based around the partnership concept. Uh, there are no shares, uh, so you don't give shares. Every person that's a partner is a partner. Um, 
with a certain degree of ownership uh, that is not controlled by shares. Um, so it, uh, when we're talking about shielding from liability, from uh, keeping our personal assets from being in a position to be sued, uh, the three corporation models uh, are the, the ones that you need to, to consider. And LLC is by far the most popular of those for, for really small startups and businesses. So uh, strongly considered an LLC, but talk to your tax attorney, talk to your, your, uh, talk to your attorney, talk to your accountant, find out the right one for you based on what you're doing. One more thing. Uh, last week I did a video on commingling. Um, and I mentioned how it was bad from a tax perspective and those kinds of things. One other thing to consider when we're talking about commingling uh, and when we're talking about this concept of personal risk is that if you commingle your personal money with your business money, it doesn't matter what your corporate structure is, there's still ways to get to you through the legal system. So if you are really serious about insulating yourself from risk, commingling is a part of that. Don't commingle your money with your business's money. I explained that in depth in the uh, in last week's video. Uh, take a look at it. There's more than just money that's involved uh, when you're talking about commingling, and that provides a pathway for somebody to sue you. So when you're talking about insulating yourself from personal risk, uh, personal financial risk, obviously there's personal, you know, bodily harm risk in. You know, you lift a pallet, you strain a muscle. We're, we're talking about financial risk, but do not commingle money uh, between your your money and the business's money, because it then buy it then provides a pathway for you to be sued personally if one of your products hurts somebody. So, just another thought. The last thing I'll leave you with here is that um, you really should protect yourself and insulate yourself from liability uh, in when you're doing something like this more so than others uh, and the way to do that is a combination of, corp uh, of a corporation uh, creating corporate corporate identity uh, or a corporate entity I should say uh, and then also the combination of insurance which we will talk about so that's our, our short business basics video for today um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, you know the drill, uh, and we'll see you next week.